Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at Preston Caravans and Motorhomes and I'm going to be filming a review of this. It's the Eldis Affinity 520. It's a two birth caravan. So let's dive straight in and find out what we need to know. So what do we need to know about the Affinity 520? Price wise, it's £29,339. It's on the Alco chassis. It has a nose weight of up to 100 kilos. Lengthwise, it's fairly short at uh, 5 metres and 59 centimetres or 18 feet and 4 inches if you like it that way. Width is 7 foot and 5 inches and the MTPLM is 1,345 kilos. Reasonable payload of 126 kilos. So on the front we can see we have got a nice champagne coloured front locker. We've got the three windows and the eldest sunroof. Now the Affinity is mid-range, it's above the uh, entry-level Avante. So we are going to get a few little bits and pieces on here. Starting off down here, we've got a gas barbecue point. The sides, they're white with a sort of orange and silver decal. We've got a locker box down here. We do have alloy wheels, as we can see there, 14 inch alloys. The door is to the rear of the van with it being a two berth. It is a stable door. We can see here the join. We are getting a nice bin on the, on the door. I'll come round the back. Now, I do like the new rear on the Eldis. This appeared a couple of years ago. So at the back, it's the one piece white. We've got a high level brake light there, Eldis, and then it says the Affinity and these new shaped light clusters as well. So a fairly simple and plain back end, but certainly nice nonetheless. We'll come down the off side of the Affinity. So we've got three windows. We've got our toilet uh, flush filler, our cassette, that's where your grey wastewater will come from. Then we can see the vents here for the Dometic. The two vents suggest that's going to be an under counter fridge freezer. We'll have a look at that when we go in. We've then got a locker box here. We've got the whale water and a vent there for the Alder. So that tells us we're going to get wet central heating on the Affinity 520. Right, let's venture in. Uh, I haven't got a step with me, so I'm going to have to clamber in. That was a total schoolgirl error. So let's clamber in and have a look at the 520. Up we go, very graceful. Right, this is quite nice actually. It's light, it's bright and it's airy. You can see the two sofa seats and these are a good length. So let's talk first of all about the berths in this lounge because if you're buying it as a two berth, it's going to be quite important to know about the size of the bed. So this will convert into one huge double, which will be six foot six by five foot one wide, or two singles. And these are going to be six foot four long by two foot three wide. Those are good beds, to be fair. Um, good sized beds indeed. So let's have a look up front first of all. So down in this lounge, you can see here, we've got some USB points and plug sockets. The curtains are sort of an oatmeal colour with a teal trim, and that's the same on the cushions. We've got pleated blinds all round. I think most of us prefer the pleated. Um, these are the cushions, as you can see, a, a nice teal colour. The actual seating is, a, again, sort of a more of an oatmeal colour with this green trim. Good size windows. We've got speaker there. Let's have a look at our storage. So these are fairly good size lockers. There's no shelving in there. So good size overhead lockers. Let's come round and have a look at the other side. See what we get on here. Again, good size lockers. Remember that payload though, 126 kilos, not a lot. So just be careful with that. And the final locker. So this is where you're going to find uh, space for the radio. This is the aerial that you get that's coming in. I'll just close these down so it's a little bit neater for us. At the front, we do have a front chest or locker, as uh, you may want to call it. We've got a pull-out table there so you can sit and eat. And then a little bit of drawer space underneath. That's quite nice. And then a little bit more storage there. And we do have two, um, if you can see here, storage lockers underneath as well. I won't clamber down by myself and do that. If I had Jules with me, it makes life a lot easier. But unfortunately, I'm by myself. So that's the lounge area. 
it's spacious it's bright seems a nice space what i do like i'll just step back and show you this is if you see up here this is the huge like stargazer roof light that eldis use absolutely massive that lets in loads of light so let's look now down the back of the caravan into the 520 so kitchen space we don't find a flap here but we have got our worktop space good amount of worktop two sockets nice splashback here we've got a good size kitchen window we've got then plenty of storage and you can see the lights above so let's have a look in these lockers together nice cupboard there with rack and as we move across another good size storage cupboard plenty of room there um this i must say storage is important for me in the kitchen i think most of us like to take food with us and um, we'll come down now got a little pull out drawer there that's quite nice cutlery and bits and then we've got the dometic fridge and freezer I'm not sure if this is going to be locked on both sides let me just do that there we go so as i said outside it is under counter but it's deep as well i'll just show you just show you in there so a deep fridge uh, salad trays little freezer compartment so that's nice plenty of stuff in there no problem and then we've got lots more little drawers these these are i don't think they are really soft clothes but no they just sort of shut um oh and a little storage cupboard just under there but they're nice and practical and um, i'll come across this is good we've got the fetford grill oven and under here we've got three gas rings and the electric plate as well and a little splash back just on there a um, little bit of storage just down there under the oven now i'll move across um i'll come I'll come to the microwave in a minute. We'll just look under here. So we've got a little LED light under there. Then we've got this wall space and this larger worktop space here. So this is where we're going to place our television. We can see here we've got two sockets, USBs, uh, 12 volt. So plenty of room to put a, an actual really good sized telly on there if you wanted to do that. And then this is where you're probably going to put more probably clothing, I would imagine. So we've got two pull out drawers there for underwear and t-shirts and things and then coming down this is good plenty of room under here for shoes and other bits of clothing i'm sure we're going to find a wardrobe in the bathroom but we'll have a look when we go in together i'll just close those up and then i'll just come up because if you're wondering where the microwave is here it is it's the russell hobbs it's at a really good height is this so russell hobbs 800 watt and there's a little cupboard here good amount of storage there so that that is the kitchen area you may have noticed in the microwave there that i'm actually filming on my phone it's because i've broken my equipment in a schoolgirl era again anyway coming in the door really nice big mirror you can see that there and on the other side, I imagine we're going to find our control panels. Here they are. So we've got all our controls here. That's the Alder switch there. We're going to have electric and water there. Little hook for coats. Right, so that's the main living space. Now we'll venture through this door and we will find the bathroom. Oh, now I like this. This is nice, actually. This is nice. So we come into this bathroom space. Loads of room on the floor. We'll start in this corner. So... This corner here, this is the off side or the right hand side of the caravan. This is the back of the caravan. I know it might be obvious, bear in mind I've just come from the front, but I like to just explain it so we all know where we are actually at. So coming in, we've got this wall here, then we've got the heated towel rail part of the Alder system, the swivel Thetford toilet, toilet roll holder, frosted window, which is good. I do prefer frosted. We've got the blind, there's a little cupboard, just above the toilet so some nice toiletry space there and then we've got this nice shower i like what they've done here you don't often see these anymore particularly it's like a corner uh shower as you can see there um it is clear plastic on the um, screen itself we've got a little shelf in there there's a light at the top but i like that 
good good size um i'll just push this across yeah and there is to be fair there's plenty of room we're not we're not level so it won't close it won't stay open um plenty of room to step in there um even if you're a bigger person so i do like that here we've got the fruit bowl sink and we've got swivel tap a toothbrush holder good mirror there's a light just there look at my, my massive finger it's nice right let's go under here ah oh, lovely so nice little uh under sink cupboard and then we're getting to some more of our storage area now obviously um if there was a door on it you'd struggle to open it so it's it's open and these are really deep shelving units look at those so absolutely loads of space there and then we've got a big wardrobe i wonder if we're going to find a table for the lounge yeah we are here we go so into this huge wardrobe space we've got the alder header tank space loads of drawers look at these they're really deep as well i like i like those and i like this two berth actually the table is there there's loads of room if you've got something really long to hang up you could you could stand in there so yeah that is massive really good that i'm impressed so let me just turn around okay this is the bathroom then and then looking down into the caravan gives you an idea of that living space um loads of it absolutely loads of it so what do i think let me swivel you around and try not to fill my hand i'm so sorry it's normally a much better production as you well know but today it's taken me two and a half, half hours to drive to Preston and then I've had technical issues and I'm so disappointed with myself. So I'm really sorry, but I've done my best. But we've had a look um, at this Affinity 520, two birth caravan, just under, well, just over 29,000. However, what I'll say is having recently looked at some of its competitors, which you may have already seen that content or you are due to, I prefer this, if I'm honest. I do like this. Um, I'm hoping to do a little bit more two birth stuff because I, I have been asked for it. I know I know I do a lot of top end and, and eight foot wide stuff. So I'm trying to do some sort of smaller bits. But this one, the 520, yeah, I like it. Remember, dealers like Preston and others do dealer specials as well. So it might be worthwhile having a look at dealer specials if you're interested in this sort of size caravan as well. Right, there we go. I'll wrap it up. Hopefully you've enjoyed a little bit of look around. Thank you to Preston Caravans and Motorhomes who've let me come back after several years to film some reviews. It's really appreciated. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.